Good morning, my classy, classy people. Happy 4th of July. It is Monday. It is Independence Day. And again, happy, happy holiday to each and every one of you. And most of all, safe holiday. Enjoy yourself. I'm sitting here in the studio, having a nice cup of coffee, reading a newspaper. The Daily Racing Forum. I mean, I like to read that newspaper. Old habits die hard, right? So, again, we're going to take a look at uh, grade two. The Great Lady States over there at beautiful uh, Los Alamitos, right? And I'm going to make it a point to get there one day. And, uh, of course, Santa Anita's closed and Del Mar will be opening up very soon. But we wanted to take a look at this field of um, uh, fillies and mares. Going six panels, I believe, six furlongs, uh, six and a half furlongs for 200,000 uh, three year olds and up. Small field of seven, but pretty decent field, you know, uh, in its own right. So let's take a look at the Great Lady Stakes over there uh, at uh, Los Alamitos. Again, turn your closed captions on in our tip sheets, you know. Please email us at speedking24 at yahoo.com. And of course, you can also support us by buying the Speed King of Coffee. You'll find that link below down there in our description. It's a great way to support us as we come up on our two-year anniversary next month in August. So it's been quite a ride. Well, race number nine at Los Alamitos today. Uh, you know, probably about eight o'clock tonight. And the number one horse, Lady Mystify. Lady Mystify is a very, very nice horse and kind of speedy in her own right. This four-year-old girl has won three of ten starts, two seconds and two-thirds for almost $300,000. Peter Erston is doing all the conditioning for this one. And, um... By Bernardini, yes, I'm sorry about that. Uh, by Bernardini and uh, on the back end by Unbridled Song. Again, I mean, I don't have anything really against Lady uh, Mystify. I think you have to use her underneath. She has every opportunity to win uh, this race. The big deal is that she usually runs a mile and 16th or further, and they're cutting her back to six and a half furlongs. Now, I think you're going to get a lot of this out in California where horses are not at the typical distance that they're using to running and or winning at because there is limited races and they want to keep the horses kind of in shape so they put them in spots where they have uh, you know uh, opportunity to stay conditioned and uh, whatever so again to me the two biggest factors in horse racing is surface and distance right particularly in this case distance lady mystify is really a mile and 16 horse so again she's cutting back and um you know, how serious is, are they on beating their horse to run six furlongs when they run, a, you know, uh, eight furlongs like that. So, again, I think you still have to use her. She's just too talented not to. So, she'll probably be my third pick in here, if not my fourth, for sure. The number two horse, Brandon's my lawyer. Well, hopefully you don't need a lawyer, but Miss Brandon has never done nothing wrong. This three-year-old filly has won two of three starts, right? Papa is doing all the conditioning, making her second race off of her two-year-old line uh, some 36 days ago. Uh, now, again, here's the same example, okay, out there in California. Brandon, my lawyer, has never been on the dirt. Right, and it's coming out of an analysis race, which was her first race as a three year old. And also, you know, she runs a mile or whatever, but she's not a dirt horse. So, to me, it's one of those situations where they work using the horse and using these races for uh, workouts for, for just to keep them in shape. And if they happen to grab a piece of the purse money, then all is well to pay for those vet bills and all the other expenses that come with it. So to me, the number two horse Brandon, my lawyer, is just in the race for whatever reason. I don't like her in this race at all. We're going to throw the number three off the ticket. Well, here's one I would tell you, don't throw off the ticket. The number three horse, Becca Taylor. Miss Taylor don't need no introduction. Right surface, right distance. Okay, right? I mean, she runs on the dirt and she's a six panel horse and she should go get the wire. I mean, that's just what it is. The horse is seven to five. Uh, Becky Taylor, she has uh, nine starts and eight of them are wins. No, you didn't. I just said it. Becky Taylor is eight for nine. And the one time she didn't win, she ran second. So again, she's by Old, to uh, old Topper, Old Topper, yeah, Old Topper, 
And again, uh, Juan Hernandez, the best jock in, the, in, in California, is on the horse. The horse is riding a two-game winning streak. And obviously, he's won eight or nine. So, I mean, obviously, this is the horse to beat. All of them have to beat. Speed figure is absolutely the best in the field. There's a couple in here that's close enough. But, again, obviously, the number three horse, Becca Teller, is the horse to beat. And here's a horse that, again, is overmatched in my opinion. Samurai Charm has five wins from eight starts. You can't sneeze at that. You can't shake a stick at that, right? And again, here's a horse that ran six furlongs last time, but typically runs a mile, mile, and a sixteenth. So to me, at 12-1, to 1, Samurai Charm, Charm is overmatched in this spot. And the number five, Ain't Easy. Well, I like this horse a little bit, right? And she's going to really have to step her game up. The number five, Ain't Easy. Two wins for five starts, two thirds. That's okay. It's filled the model. There's that man, mama. That's the guy that won the uh, Santa Anita meet uh, a couple weeks ago. And Kyle Frey is in the yarns. Well, two races back in the Santa Anita Oaks, which was a grade two on April 9th. I'm telling you, Desert Dawn won the race, but this horse ran third by seven. Earned a very decent speed figure. Now, she's lightly raced. The next time they ran her out, they ran her in the Eight Bells, the Grade Two at Churchill, um, May Eighth, and she ran behind Monterey. Everybody knows Monterey is a flat-out monster. I believe that's a Brad Cox horse, and Pretty Birdie ran second that day. She got smoked, ain't easy. She ran ninth by 23 lengths. Now that's an off race. See, I don't mind betting them on. A non, what I believe is a non-effort race. They stepped her up. She got smoked. She got her boots smoked on May 6th. Non-effort didn't knock her out. And her last time that she really ran a top effort was April 9th. So the horse is coming in fresh. I like to bet particularly Phillies off of their off race instead of their top race. Why? Because Phillies have a tendency, in my opinion, just from a sheet standpoint, have a tendency to bounce a little more. So I like Ain't Easy in here. Now, can she beat Becca Teller? I don't know, but I surely will give her a chance at 7-2. to two. I think I'm going to make Ain't Easy my top pick here, as I understand clearly that Becca Teller is the horse to beat. Okay, so... All right, so we like the number five ain't easy in this spot. The number six horse cover version. Well, this horse is just clearly overmatched. Um, this is a turf horse, okay? I mean, just like Brand is my lawyer in, in a lot of ways, uh, is coming over from France and. Uh, you know, uh, cover version is a seven year old, five wins only from 38 starts. The horse is 30 to one, it should be 50 to one. Throw the number six off the ticket. And the last horse in the race, well, Elm Drive. Well, I don't know if you live on Elm Drive, but Elm Drive's not a bad, a bad gal. She's okay. I mean, you know, this three year old, uh, Phil the models doing the training uh, made her three-year-old debut on May 8th at Santa Anita when gate to wire uh, Gonzalez is in the orange it was an overnight steak race I mean that's a uh, which was the angles flight stakes that's a heck of a three-year-old debate off of a 219 day layoff to come back as a three-year-old and or on an overnight stake race and go gate to wire now the horse is returning now in 57 days off of that race so she's fresh she's fit and she's fast and again you may want to take a look now she's going to have to step it up and she probably will the number seven horse elm drive i believe uh i don't know if i'm ready to make her a win candidate here but i surely wouldn't leave her out of any of my exotics so there are your field of seven in this race, uh, the Great Lady Stakes at Los Alamitos, I believe the number two and the number six are overmatched. Both Brandon, my lawyer, and cover version. My top pick is going to be the number five. Now and again, I want to make it clear. The number five ain't easy. Uh, has won two of five starts. They did pay 400000 She is by Into Mischief and has filled the model. Okay, She's coming in on an off race. I think she could be sitting on a very, very pretty, pretty race. Now, again, I don't want to get a bunch of emails. How could I bet against Becca Teller? Well, you don't need me to give you Becky Teller. She's won eight of nine. Of course she's the horse to beat. Of course she's the likely winner. And of course she's going to be two to five. Okay, it doesn't change the fact that she's a serious, serious win contender. 
the number three horse. So our top pick is going to be the number five. Ain't easy. We're going to give Phil DeMotto a chance with this $400,000 baby uh, Philly by into mischief to take, to take old Becky Teller down, right? So we like the five, obviously, uh, as our top pick. And of course, Becky Teller is our second pick and likely winner of the race. Did everybody hear that? Yes, likely winner of the race, the number three. And our third pick, okay, so the number one horse, Lady Mystify, is kind of speedy. Maybe she could put a little pressure on Becky Teller. Because the number one, Lady Mystify, can fall up out of the gate, y'all. So she could put some pressure on uh, 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 Becky Teller. And maybe the number five, who was my top pick, ain't easy and can run them down. Okay, so our third pick is Lady Mystify, and if we had to have a fourth pick and a long shot in the race, it would be Samurai Charm, right? I would tell you this horse off this second race off of the two-year-old lay uh, off the four-year-old layoff could come underneath at 12 to 1 or higher to complete your trifactor or super. So put the number four, third, and fourth in your tries and exactors. So there it is in the Great Lake Stakes over there at Los Alamitos today on Independence Day. And we understand Becky Teller's in the race, but here, we're going to take a number. We're going to be a little cute. We're going to take the number five. It ain't easy. Swapping ain't easy. Handicapping ain't easy, right? You make your stand and here's mine. We like the number five ain't easy over who? Becky Teller and then the number one horse, Lady Mystify, for some value in our tries and super factor, if you're playing that way. How about throwing in the 12 to 1 Samurai, uh, samurai Charm as your third and fourth? So there it is, 5, 3, 1, 4, in that order, in today's Great Ladies Stakes Race, Grade 2 at Los Alamitos. Enjoy. Go grilling. Put some steaks on that grill. Stay classy in everything you do, folks, as I sit here and read my daily racing form. For sure. And guess what? Have a great cup of coffee. As always, thanks so much for your support. Let's see if we can get around Big Head Becky Teller today with Ain't Easy.